Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be looking at taking animations from Adobe Mixamo and importing them to Unreal, and then also retargeting them to work with our uh, UE4 skeleton, you know, character dude here. Um, this will be kind of a technique that I use in a lot of my tutorials, so I want to just kind of show you guys how I do it, and then um, this will also kind of, you know, get you used to sort of the basics of animations and animation retargeting and um, some of that other stuff. So uh, with that, let's get started. Um, we're actually going to go to the uh, Mixamo website. So I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, but basically, all you need to do if you don't have one already is just create a free you know, Adobe account, sign in. Um, everything here is completely free to use, all right? Um, and, you know, for commercial games, um, educational purposes, whatever. Uh, but once you've signed in, uh, you can just hit browse animations. But before I do that, I want to point out this too. Uh, Adobe Fuse is another thing. That's right here, also free. Um, basically, it like just allows you to create characters really fast. So like, you can just click different pieces and it'll put your character together. All right. And then once your character's together, you can add like clothing and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, and then once you've created a character, you can animate with Mixamo, and it'll send it to this website for you to animate. So um, that's what I've actually done. So I've created a character that we'll use for this example, um, and I'll you know leave like provide that for you guys. But um, anyways, just hit browse animations. Okay, so you'll come to this little page here that has like featured stuff. It has all their different packs of animations and whatnot. A lot of there's a lot of really cool stuff here, um, so definitely check it out. Uh, but then under their animations tab, you know you can find just all their animations, and I believe they have like almost 2,500 uh, animations. So there's a lot to choose from. Um, then you can go to characters, and they also have some pre-made characters which you can play around with. Um, but I'm actually going to be using uh, my own character, so I'm going to go to my assets here, and I'm going to choose uh, this little guy I made right here. Okay, so once you select a character, right, whether from your own characters or the characters they provide, you're going to hit find animations, because that will find, um, that will kind of tell Mixamo, hey, we want to use these animations on this, you know, this guy, this skeleton. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you know, for this example, I'm just going to choose, you know, just some some kind of uh, animation just for testing purposes. I'll use this fireball thing, okay? And you can change, like, all the kind of the parameters here of, like, um, kind of what the animation is going to look like, you know, fast speed, his arm space. This will really mess him up, so don't do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, once you've kind of, you know, uh, done something, you know, created an animation that you like, you add it to your pack like I just did there. Um, and then once you have all the animations that you want, and you can rename the, the pack, I guess, the animation pack. Uh, I'm going to name it Test. And you just hit Add to anim add to My Assets. So now it's been added, so then you want to hit View and Download. So it'll bring you to, you know, the, the pack, right? And then next you hit Q Download and it'll tell you, you know, to pick a format. So, if you click the drop down, you should see an FBX for Unreal Engine 4. Um, if you don't, then um, just use the regular FBX. Uh, everything will pretty much work out um, the same. Uh, FBX for Unreal, it just adds a couple IK bones for you, so that can be really nice. Um, so anyways, we'll go ahead and do that, and then leave it in T-Pose and the frame's the same, just hit Q Download. So I will see you in a sec. All right, so now it's been downloaded. So I'm just gonna, or it's been, it's ready to download. So I'll just click download. It'll start, you know, downloading it. So see you again. Okay, it's ready. So open it up, extract it. You can extract it to wherever you want. I just usually do it right to itself. Uh, but then, you know, now we have our animations and we have our model and it comes with a bunch of textures, or at least it should, but I guess it isn't right now, but that's okay. Um, so. What we'll do now is go back to Unreal Engine, okay, and just create a folder. Um, and I'm going to call this just Mixamo, and we're going to open it up. I'm going to right click, I'm going to import, and import those animations. So I'll look for test, there it is. 
Okay, and first thing that you need to import is the character itself, like the actual skeleton. So don't do any animations yet, uh, because the animations need a skeleton to like, go to, so you need to make sure you have the skeleton in first. So we'll open the, the skeleton, all right, and um, it'll open this little box here, and make sure that it's definitely importing the skeletal mesh, um, and I guess import mesh. Uh, things that you might not need are the import materials and textures, just because uh, for this, you know, video, we're, we're not, we're only concerned with um, the animations themselves and not the, ma the materials. But, I mean, I guess I'll just import them just to show you what, what shows up. Um, but you probably don't need them if you're not using the character, um, if you're just using it for animations. So I'll hit import. Oh yeah, and make sure that the skeleton there was set to none. So it is by default, but my my bad, I didn't show you that right away. So it's going to import, it's going to complain, just ignore it. And it's got some textures with it. Awesome, right? Now, um, a quick thing on the textures. For any of you who have ever tried to do this before and have had troubles with um, the textures being translucent, right? So kind of see-through. Um, for example, if I open this guy up, you'll see he looks just bizarre, right? This is just like a freak of nature right here. The way to fix it is you go to its material and you change um, the blend mode here to opaque and then that will fix it up so now if we go look at our skeleton again you'll see everything's normal his eyebrows are really weird um, and you can change that too in like a an, another software program like just give them give the eyelashes a different color but anyways this isn't the the focus so let's let's go back to um, our Mixamo folder here and we're gonna right click and import the animation so we'll import this fireball so hit open for the skeleton we got to choose our skeleton that we just imported so our test male model import that and now here it is so you can open it up you can see it's doing its thing super cool so now let's get this so that we can use it with our UE4 skeleton, okay? So, first thing we need to do is let's go to our mannequin folder here and character, mesh, and open up the skeleton here, the mannequin, okay? So, we need to go to the skeleton tab and we need to use what's called the retarget manager, okay? Because we're going to set up a, a, you know, a, a pose that we can retarget animations to. So hit the, you know, press this little retarget manager button and this will show up. Okay, so go to, uh, then go to the setup rig and for select rig, choose select humanoid rig. Okay, so that will automatically kind of do all this stuff here. It'll populate it, um, but just hit auto mapping and it should do things correctly. Um, you'll notice that the root bones changed, um, but basically what each of these is saying here, right, all these on the left um, the you need to set the corresponding uh, bone from the skeleton to be at this position. So f for the root, right, you want to make sure you choose root. For pelvis, you want to choose pelvis, you know, and then etc. Okay, then there's also advanced options. So if you hit show advanced, it'll show this is like all the fingers um, and I guess feet and IKs and everything. Um, so again, hitting auto mapping will fix that up too. Okay, um, but yeah, just make sure you do that. Okay, now um, the last thing is we want to view our retarget pose. Okay, so if we hit view pose, you'll see it's the same, right? But we need to make sure that we set this view, this uh, retarget pose to be of the same kind of pose that um, our animations are going to be. So if we look at um, our, let's see, our guy here, right? His, he's in a T pose. Okay, but our skeleton here is in an, an A pose. So we need to just move his arms up a little bit so that um, it'll work out nicely. So I'm gonna change the rotation here to five. I'm gonna select his upper arm here, rotate it to 45. Select his lower arm, rotate it back to 20. And then do the same with the other arm. Okay, up to 45, out to 20. Okay, and now once you've done that, hit save pose, 
And now it, you see it snaps back, but if you hit view pose then, it'll show you the retarget pose. So that's perfect. That'll be great. Okay, so go ahead and save that now. Okay, next we need to go to our skeleton and do kind of the same thing. Um, but I guess one last thing we should look at is let's go to our skeleton tree here and let's hit show advanced options. So you'll see this will show like a translation retargeting, right? And so this is just kind of what happens to the bones when you retarget. So uh, um, if you look down, you know, most of them are skeleton except for the IKs, they're all animation. And these ones at the top are, you know, animation. Um, but what Unreal recommends is changing the pelvis here to animation scaled. So go ahead and do that, and then you should be good to go. All right, so now we'll go to our test mail model here. And what we're going to do is, again, go to the skeleton and make sure the retarget manager is open. So you just, again, do that by opening up like this. Then we'll choose select rig and select humanoid rig. It'll do kind of the same thing. All right. Um, and then you can just hit auto mapping again and it should do it all right okay then go to show advanced do the same thing you should be good to go um, and you don't need to change you know the the pose because he's already in his T pose so everything's good now if you are using a um, an F just a normal FBX your bones um, probably won't have the same naming conventions so um, especially if you're coming from Mixamo so I'll, I'll put the link for how to do that um, here, and then you can see how to do like Mixamo um, or FBX retargeting as well. It's literally the same exact thing, just different names. So anyways, save that, go to our skeleton tree, hit show advanced options. You'll notice all these are set to animation. Let's right click and say set, uh, recur set or recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. So that'll put it all to skeleton by default. Change this top one to animation, this one to animation scaled. Let's go down to our IKs, animation, animation, animation. All right, almost done. Okay, so we've got all the IKs done, and that's all good. So hit save. Now we're ready, right? Now we're ready to retarget these. So what we'll do is we'll take our animation that we want to retarget to another skeleton, we'll right click, go up here to retarget anim assets duplicate and anim assets and retarget and then it'll show us the ones that we can retarget to so if I click it you'll see here he is he shows up awesome okay so then you can choose to you know kind of change up the naming of it and where you want to store it so I'm just gonna have it put right into the content browser so that'll be fine um, so then just hit retarget and there we go so open it up you see he's doing the same thing right he's got the same animation going and now, yeah, that's kind of how you go about adding, you know, animations from Mixamo. Um, so pretty cool, pretty powerful. I think definitely a helpful tool to use for prototyping because um, you can rapidly, you know, bring in animations and just test out how mechanics in your games will work. Um, and I will be using this for a lot of my tutorials as well. So make sure, you know, you follow this if you want, you know, to kind of see some of the stuff I do in my tutorials. So. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you liked the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.